Yeah. Moving yeah. quickly yeah. along, yeah. Our, yeah. our next speaker yeah. is uh, Nelsie. Yeah. And Nelsie uh, right. was out with her brother yeah. when he told her an yeah. interesting yeah. fact. Yeah. Uh, today she is presenting her sixth speech and research your topic. The title of the speech is Running People. So it's uh, five to seven minutes. So same thing, Jose, five, six, and seven for green, yellow, and red. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Nelson. Okay, so the other day I was running in Savannah with my brother. I'm there, and it hasn't even been half a mile, and I'm already like, oh, I can't go anymore. I just can't. And he's like, come on, don't disappoint me. You can go more than that. And I was like, all right, fine. Let me go a little bit more. And then he tells me this fact that was really interesting. He's like, did you know that we can outrun horses? I'm like, there's no way we can outrun horses. In fact, it is. I researched it, and we can outrun horses. Why? OK, first, that stimulation in the brain. Like my brother telling me, I know that you can go a little bit more. Even though I said, no, I can't. Just him pushing me and me hearing him, the reward, yeah, I can go a little bit more. And I did go a little bit more. That's one thing. That other thing is our anatomy. And I'm, I'll go a little bit more into detail in a little bit, but our bodies are made for running. The, why we cannot run horses? Because we sweat. That's the main thing. We are, horses have a lot of hair, so they overheat. But because we don't have that much hair and we have like 3,000 glands in our bodies, we let out sweat and stress and we can keep going and we push ourselves to keep going. So in Mexico, there's these people called the Tarahumara, and it's a Mexican tribe that in the 16th century, when the Spanish got to South America, instead of fighting like the Aztecs and the Mayans, they ran. And they went into the Copper Canyon and these other canyons that are in that part of the world, and they're still alive today. Not a lot, about 70,000 people, but they're still there. And what happened to the Aztecs and the Mayans? We all know that story. They're, they've been gone for a long time. Another thing, evolution. It, it has, it's not confirmed. So we're talking about like 200 million years ago or something like that. Nobody really knows for sure. But they think that running is how we killed prey. <coughs> we would run until the prey got tired, and then we would be able to kill them. Or if a bird killed, an, uh, or if we started seeing scavenger birds go to eat prey, then we would run and we would also get there and be 